hello in this video i'm going to do uh, a, a topic on scatter graph like plotting and interpreting scatter graph okay so let's read the question the table shows the age in years and weight in grams of 10 randomly selected coins of the same denomination so this is the table we got 10 randomly selected coins this is the age in years and this is the weight in grams okay so what does the question say draw a scatter graph a scatter diagram of this information and on it draw the line of best fit so first i have i'll show on a x on a on excel and then on a graphic calculator so this is the same question and this is the uh, information in age so if you want to draw this in excel you highlight age and weight okay so we are finding a relationship between uh, the scatter graph helps us to tell whether there is a relationship between age in years and the weight in grams so then you go to uh, say insert and then go to scatter graph and graph this and this is your graph scatter graph so let me, uh, let me, okay, so this is a scatter graph, so, and then you can, I'm not going into much detail now, so this is the, so you can label it, so if you go to uh, layout, and then you go to axis, axis title, you can do those things yourself, so that's not my focus, so let me delete this. Now, if you want to draw the line of best fit there, so if you now what is this on the x-axis the excel has taken the age in years and on the y-axis it has taken the weight if you look at the points there uh, the points and if you draw a line of best fit a line of best fit is a line that uh, approximately passes through the mid middle of those points i'll draw that later on but if you draw a line, a line would go somewhat like this, and uh, that line has a negative gradient. Okay, uh, you should refer your uh, algebra or graph topics where uh, a negative gradient means a line which is from the left to right is sloping down. Now, if you want to uh, uh, draw the line of best fit, you click on any one of the points. If you click on any of those points, you have this box coming up and if you click on add trend line you'll have this box okay and this is a linear trend okay and we want to write the equation so there can you see display equation on the chart so if you click on that and uh, and close it so here is the equation okay so that is negative uh, zero let me make this bigger a bit so if you make it bigger let me put it here and the gradient is negative 0.0071.94 or you can say this is negative 0.07 so if you want to make this tidy if you want to uh, okay that's all right so the gradient is negative 0.07 and the y-intercept is 9.5 okay so if you ext uh, if you uh, extrapolate if you uh, add, take this line 2.0 it will intersect about 9.5 or 9.4692 to be exact okay if you want to do this on, on a graphic calculator what i have done is i've entered the um, your i'll show this okay let me scroll this i've entered this so let me bring my okay this is my calculator so this is phi 9.414 9.42 so first you have to enter your age or your first variable in list one and in the second variable in list two the next thing that you do you have to do is you always have to set look at your setting what your graph is so first you enter it and then you press f1 this should be a screen once you enter it this should be a screen so if you graph it it should tell you how uh, it will show you this icon now this is to set to look at your setup so 
So if you look at your setup, this is set on get scatter graph. And let x list, your x variable is in list 1. And the calculator is telling you y list is in list 2. That's fine. Frequency is 1. So that's fine. Frequency should be 1. And uh, you can change the. So if you want dot, uh, a notation like this, this will come. So if you press F2, it will show crosses on the scatter graph. Okay. Then you go exit and then graph it. So this is your scatter graph. It is similar to, okay, so I'll show you an Excel. So this is much similar to, uh, yeah, it's almost the same, okay, slightly but different in the sense uh, these values may slightly change. Now, to write the equation of this, uh, to draw the line of best fit, or to write the equation of the line of best fit, you go F1, which is calculate. And we know this is a line of best fit, which is linear. You've got a straight line. So you have to press F2. And there we go. That's This is nothing but negative 0 0.007. And this is your uh, B is your uh, Y intercept, which is 9.4692. Uh, so that's so then if you want to draw it, you draw it. So this is a line of best fit. Okay. So... Now, let's answer the question. Okay, where, where's my... Okay. So, we have... Okay, now this is this is the same thing. I copied and pasted from Excel. So, let's read this. Okay. So, what's the first question? The first question is... So, we have, dra uh, we have drawn the scatter graph and we have drawn the line of best fit. We have also written the equation of the line. We didn't need to. But I've written the line of best fit or the equation of the line of best fit. Question B. The question is asked uh, how are age and weight of coin related? Use your graph to respond to this question. Justify your answer. Okay. So, uh, so let us look at the graph. So this is the line of best fit and the equation of the line is uh, so let us write the equation in a uh, slightly easier way. This is negative 0 0.007x plus, if you round it to 1 dp, it is 9.5. Okay. So this is the equation of the line. So what is happening now? As the age of the coin is increasing, what's happening to the weight? That's what you have to look for. Okay. So I can say, well, as the age is increasing, the weight of uh, the coin seems to be decreasing. And that's why the line of best fit is from the left to right, it's going down. So the question is, what can you see? How is age related to the coin? So, well, I can say, uh, answer for B, I can say, as the coin gets older okay what can we say okay the weight the weight of coin seems to be going down seems to be going down now what is the reason seems to be going down what makes me make the statement okay the state the reason is because the line of best fit because the line of best fit has what type of gradient best fit has a negative gradient okay so that means the negative gradient the gradient i hope you know is the line is a number that is uh, that sits with your variable, which is x. Okay, so yeah, if you want to write in terms of, so in weight and age, this y is nothing but weight in grams, weight of grams, not weight of grams, weight in. So you can say weight in grams of coins is your y is equal to negative 0 0.07 times what is your x? X is the age of coin in years age of coin 
plus, of course I'm not writing in years, plus this 9.5. So this, your x is the age, age of coin and your y is weight in gram of coin. So there is a relationship, this, this negative 0 0.09, 07, negative 0 0.0, it's 0, 0, 007, sorry, I should write, negative 0 0.007, okay. That is a negative gradient. So that tells me uh, that value or the negative gradient is indicating that as the coin gets older, the weight of the coin is going down. It's becoming lighter and lighter because of use probably. Okay. Now it is claimed that a new coin, a new coin has how many years? Okay. It has got zero years. Okay. New coin means zero years fresh after from the minting uh, it is claimed that the new coin of this denomination has a mass of 9.5 uh, grams comment so yeah so yeah the, this also is a very clear indication that your y intercept if you extend this line so let me draw this line and show you suppose if I extend this line Okay, my line doesn't look good. Okay, I'll try to show, do it in the best possible way. Suppose if we extend this line, yeah, I think it's better now. If we extend this line, it's roughly nine point. So this, what we're saying is, this is not exact. This is nine point uh, four six. Okay, and that's almost nine point five. Now this is, these are. This is the information from only 10 coins, okay? So the answer would be like this. I'll type this now. What's the question? The new coin weighs 9.5 kg. So I can type in like this. If we, if we extrapolate, extra, that's the technical word, extrapolate, that means extend uh, the line of best fit extrapolate means extend the line of best fit uh, uh, backwards backwards let me close the bracket uh, let me extend this uh, uh, then the line then then the line seems to intersect to have the y intercept of 9.5 grams or in other words when x is equal to 0 y seems to be 9.5 grams which is the weight of the coin when it is new hope this is explaining or this explains what the question is asking us to do so you answer two questions, so there is a positive, so there is a negative relationship between age in years of coins and the weight. So what does negative means? As age increases, the weight of coins seems to be going down. And what tells me so, or what tells me, it is that the gradient of this line is negative. You don't have to write the equation of this line, but if you have a graphic calculator, you can write it. Hopefully this video has been helpful. See you in the next video.